Temperature measurement for many processes is the primary measurement value in a variety of industries and applications. The measurement of temperature may seem pretty straightforward. However, temperature impacts profits, safety and quality. So measuring it right, the first and every time, is important. Emerson's Temperature Insights is a series of brief training presentations to help engineers gain a better understanding of temperature measurement. All Temperature Insights are based upon the Engineer's Guide to Industrial Temperature Measurement, a go-to guide from Emerson Process Management. Today's Temperature Insight covers best practices for successful temperature measurement installations. After you have designed and purchased temperature measurement equipment, how do you ensure it is installed properly as designed? You start by understanding what design decisions were made to ensure that the as-installed and as-designed specifications agree. This involves considering factors such as thermowell installation, sensor installation, transmitter installation and grounding the system. For proper thermowell installation, start by finding a measurement point that accurately represents the process temperature and that is easily accessible. Next, determine if you need to drain and clean the pipe or vessel before cutting into it to install the thermowell. Ensure all required permits and approvals have been secured. The installation technician should now verify the thermowell provided has the correct insertion length for the pipe or vessel. Other thermowell dimensions may be verified by considering insulation thickness, lagging length, and length of any required extensions to protrude through the insulation layer. It is important to verify the material of construction of the thermowell is compatible with the pipe or vessel and the process. During design, the engineer made several mounting style decisions. Those decisions would have included whether to use a threaded, welded or flanged style of thermowell. After installing the thermowell, the next item is the sensor. When the sensor is inserted, it is important that it makes contact with the bottom of the thermowell to ensure accurate measurement. After the sensor is installed, it needs to be wired to a terminal block in an enclosure or transmitter. Transmitter installation is another key consideration in the temperature installations. The preferred installation is one that is integrally mounted to the sensor and thermowell. This is commonly referred to as direct mounting. Direct mounting will improve noise immunity due to sensor leads being shorter and thus less exposed to environmental interference. Transmitters can also be mounted remotely but in close proximity to the sensor and thermowell assembly. When selecting the mounting location, consider ease of access to the measurement point, including the LCD display and environmental issues such as vibration, corrosion and ambient and process temperatures. Each process facility also has its own guidelines for the proper installation of grounding. The three most common installation guidelines are remote mount with two separate grounding points, remote mount with a continuous shield and integral mount. In summary, it is much easier and more cost-effective to complete installation correctly the first time, instead of having to fix installation problems down the road. Once installation is near completion, a few final steps are proper configuration, calibration and commissioning. To learn more about best practices for installation and other areas of temperature measurement, order your complimentary copy of the Engineer's Guide to Industrial Temperature Measurement.